very grateful to have here our neighbor bishop from Victoria, Bishop Cagle, Reverend Cagle. He is a great brother and a wonderful partner to the students. If somebody visits Palma Place, it's him. And I know, because when we have meetings, he's not there because he's in Palma Place. But that's true, you take care of your priest well. Also, our Americans from different dioceses, one from here, Bishop Flanagan, uh, Tom Flanagan. Thank you, Bishop, for all your years of service. Bishop Flanagan, thank you. Tom, thank you. Yeah. And then, Bishop Yanta, who the Lord has allowed him to be with us and serve the people of God and be present to so many situations in the Archdiocese of San Antonio and Emeritus from Amarillo. Thank you for being here. And I would like to thank the sisters, servants of San Anthony, who have been helping our police from the very beginning, thanks to the concept of Archbishop Flores. And so, and where are the sisters here? There are two of them at least I have seen. Where are our sisters? Please rise, sisters. God bless you, sisters. Amen. And once again, Sandra Murphy and her team. The Archdiocese of San Antonio were blessed with her and the team who helped our priests who are retired in Palma Place for many years. And they have been leading this, this effort and this event. Uh, tonight. So thank you, Sandra Murphy, and your team. God bless you. And thank you all of you for supporting our priests and supporting the, the, the ministry that they have done over the years, and especially as now they are retired in Palo Place. You have been so good about visiting them, talking to them, uh, providing for some of the little needs or important needs that they have. And I, as the Archbishop here, I am very grateful. But especially I'm grateful to our priests and those who are we honoring tonight that later on they will be uh, receiving uh, an award. Arnold Andrews, Monsignor Aloy Gertz, and her sister, his sister is here, and Simon Rosowski. Uh, member of the community of the Holy Family. Thank you, thank you for being here. And thank you for your service. And that goes for all the priests who are present here and those that they are not. Priesthood is a wonderful blessing. In every talk that I have made tonight, the comment is, thank you for the priests that you have sent, uh, we pray for priests. We hope that there will be more vocations to the priesthood. So we are very blessed in the Archdiocese and the Diocese here represented for the priests that the Lord has called to serve our communities. Shepherds with the heart of Christ. I am also very blessed and I communicate to you that the Lord has given us this year 15 new deacons. I ordained six last week and I will ordain another nine coming up at the middle of June. So we are blessed. <laughs> and we have some seminarians representing seminarians from all the dioceses that we serve here in San Antonio, especially those connected uh, to Palo Place. And we are very blessed for them saying yes to the Lord. But I, can, I would like to announce to you that tomorrow morning I will ordain six new priests for the Archdiocese of San Antonio. <laughs> we are very grateful to God because God called them from different places, from different countries and parts of the world. And we are grateful that the Lord is calling men to serve our communities, to serve you. 
The last thing that I would like to make comment that goes as to honor all of you who have helped to pass on the faith and supporting priests to do a good job in our dioceses and here in the Archives of San Antonio. And that is about a book. You will be excited about this news. We in the Archdiocese have a book, have a book that has is a register of baptisms, communions, confirmations, weddings, the names of the families are there. And as we celebrate now, how many years of the city of San Antonio? 300. Means 1718. Well, let me, and that was before the U.S. became the U.S., before the Civil War, San Antonio was already the map as a city. But before the city, that was, there were Franciscan priests who came in 1691, and they gave the name to the river and to the future city in the Feast of San Anthony, June 13th. San Antonio. Isn't that great? And then in 1709, they were settled here. And they began to pass on the faith and to work with the people here in San Antonio. Well, what was going to be San Antonio. And in 1718, the city was founded. But it was faith who started our beautiful city of San Antonio, but just three days ago, we were told by one study in the United States that it is the largest city growing in the U.S. So, it was faith that began. But let me tell you another piece of that. A priest with the name Antonio de Jesus Marquillo, Franciscan. He was Spanish, but was settled in Mexico. From Mexico, he went walking to Panama, and from Panama, he walked all the way to Nacogdoches, next to Houston, and eventually got settled here in San Antonio. And he was instrumental in two of our missions, one of them called the Queen of the Missions, Mission San Jose. The faith was first. The faith was first. And the last piece that I'm sharing with you is that priest walked very through from Panama to here. And only wore sandals as he was celebrating daily mass. What faith does, the apostolic seal of priests, what we are celebrating here tonight is three of our priests, retired priests, and we pray and we help all these priests who have served for years in our diocese and here in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. So, thank you for tonight. Be proud of your Catholic faith. San Antonio began because of faith. First, faith. God, God, God. May you enjoy tonight.